Welcome back to my channel. So today's tutorial is going to be on this blue smoky eye. I decided to play around with blue just because it's been a while and I also wanted to make a smoky eye that was still wearable but with color. So I really just incorporated the blue in the center and then the waterline and of course I'm wearing blue contacts today. These contacts are from Isolitica or Solitica. I think I'm saying that wrong. I'll put the text right here where they're from. I'll also link them down below. They're honestly in my opinion probably the best contacts I've ever worn. I, I feel kind of crazy with the blue ones, to be honest. I love the way that their contacts look as real as they can possibly look when you look really closely, like it's hard to tell their contacts. The color that I prefer is ochre, which I've worn before on Snapchat, you guys have asked me, but this is probably the best contact out there in my opinion. So this is the makeup look, and if you're interested, keep on watching. So before you start your makeup, the first thing you wanna do is prep your skin. So I really want to make sure my under eyes are hydrated for when I apply concealer. So I'm gonna apply the Aphrodite Olive Oil Eye Cream, and this is anti-aging and hydrating. So when applying eye cream, you always wanna use your ring finger because your ring finger is the most delicate on the under eye, and you want to make sure to be really delicate so that you're not pulling and tugging on the skin because it is a thinner skin than the rest of your face. We don't want wrinkles, more wrinkles. So I'm just gonna dab it on. I'm actually gonna put a little bit more on because you know. So I'm just gonna let that soak in. And I also have been breaking out a little bit in this region. So I'm gonna apply an acne treatment gel. This is Zap Zit. Zap Zit, Zap Zit. And I'm just going to apply this pretty much along this whole area because I don't know what's going on over here, but there's a situation. And this product has no alcohol, so it's not gonna dry out your skin. Any product that contains alcohol is gonna be a little bit drying. Jeez, I don't know what's going on over here. It's very interesting. Interesting. I use that to describe anything, but it's not necessarily a good thing. It's like when you don't wanna say a bad thing, you just wanna stay neutral, but we all know what interesting means. Interesting. Lastly, for my skin prep, I'm gonna use my Too Faced Primer, and this is the Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. I really like this one because it's super hydrating, mostly because it smells like pina colada, to be honest with you guys. So I'm just gonna apply it with padding motions. I just got back from New York. When you travel, airplane air just makes your skin so dry, so I always make sure to, one, wear a hydrating mask on the plane, if I can, if I don't have to wear makeup, and then, two, make sure to really hydrate when I get back. So I'm gonna start off by priming my lids, and I'll be using the Smashbox 24-hour primer. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that with a Sigma Precision Angled Brush. Just gonna go ahead and set that with a translucent powder. This is the Makeup Forever powder. Picking up this bone color from the Tartlet in the Bloom palette, just to highlight the brow bone area. I'm just gonna apply that with this flat MAC brush and use it to highlight the brow bone. Next, I'm picking up Beware by Urban Decay, and this is a cool tone light brown. I'm using a Smith 230 brush. First look down, get the brush into the eye socket, and then I'm going to look forward and really map out my shape when my eyes are open. We're gonna smoke this into the crease and make a V-shape on the outer corner. And also, whatever's left over on the brush, you're gonna flick it outwards like this to kind of give it a cat eye shape. And really this color is just our transition shade, but it's also really good to map out the shape of your eyeshadow with a lighter shadow. That way when we go in with the dark colors, we don't make any mistakes and it doesn't end up looking crazy. Sometimes I take a clean blending brush and go along the edges to diffuse it even more. So we want it to look really soft. Next you wanna pick up a dark brown eyeshadow to really deepen the crease. I'll be using this one right here. It's a dark brown shadow and it's called Multitasker. It's from the Tartlet One palette. And I'll be using a Luxie 231 brush for this. So I'm really gonna focus this on the outer corner first. And I'm softly flicking this outwards. Can 
Nolly's outside of my room wanting to come in, but then I let her in and she's really loud, so she's been banished right now. So this look is all about building depth. That's with every smoky eye. So you just wanna make sure to start from your lightest color and then work your way up to the darkest. So then I'm gonna just do windshield wiper motions throughout the crease going into the inner corner. I like to do this with my eye open, especially if you don't have a super defined crease because then you can kind of just see how the shadow is going to look when your eye is open opposed to going like this, trying to fill in my crease this way, but then when I open my eye, do you see how I have the folds? It could change on you, so you just want to make sure to do it with your eye open if you have this problem. If you have a deep defined crease, then God bless your soul, very lucky, and you could just do it normal. So I'm getting it on my lid as well because I'm gonna be covering most of my lid besides the center. I'm just gonna keep the center free of any eyeshadow because we're gonna be applying a more metallic shade there. Clean brush, buff out the edges. I really like this brush in particular to do this. It's the MAC 221. It's really, really fluffy and lightweight, so it's really good for blending edges because it's not too dense to where it's gonna like move too much around. It just lightly grazes the skin. I'm also gonna take this, kind of just stick it right here in the socket, give it a little wiggle to get this depth in the inner corner as well. I do that first and then open your eyes, see how there's like gaps there, then you want to fill in those gaps if you do have um, a lid that kind of folds in like mine does in little layers. I'm going to take Max Uninterrupted, it's just this mustardy brown with the MAC 221 and buff out the edges with this color just to, you know, add a little bit of color while we buff. This color is slightly warmer, so it's just going to go over the dark brown without making it gray and muddy. The other brown was a little bit cooler, so if you put the cooler one on top, it might make it a little bit ashy. We don't want that, so. And then I'm gonna keep going back in and deepening up the dark around the eye. And I just go back and forth with those two processes, building up the, the darker color and then blending out the edges with the lighter color or a clean brush until I get the shape that I want. So after we've done the dark brown, we're gonna deepen the eye look a little bit more using a black eyeshadow. This one is by Natasha Denona, and it's the blackest black. And I'm gonna be using a Bogashi eyeshadow brush to really pack on the color. So I'm gonna start with applying it on the inner part of the eye. We don't want it to be too black, so I'm just applying a little bit on the outer corners to deepen it up. Just along the lid space and blend it up into the crease, but not past the crease. So next I'm picking up ColourPop's Etiquette Shadow and the Luxie Short Shader Brush. I find that these eyeshadows work best with synthetic brushes and I'm gonna pop this into the center where we left this gap. I'm gonna focus most of the color there and then lightly start to blend the edges of that into the darker shadows so that it's nice and blended and not just like a little chunk of blue. If you're scared to wear color on your eyes, this is a really good way to do it. Just a pop of color in the center of the lid. Just wanna lightly buff out those edges. All right, so now I'm just gonna take a makeup wipe and make sure to dust off any eyeshadow because I did have a little bit of fallout. You can also take this time to like clean up the edge of the makeup here as well, which is nice sharpen it up. So now I'm going to do my foundation and I'm going back to the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in the shade 108 just because I want some full coverage today and I also want to tan. This foundation is really nice to cover, you know, these breakouts instantly. Covered. Gone. Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm going to bring that down your neck as well so that you're all one color. Maybe a little bit on your ears. Now I'm gonna go on to concealer, and I like to mix ginger and custard from NARS. Ginger is a little bit warmer, and it has that salmony undertone that's gonna color correct, and then custard is super bright, so it's going to highlight. I like to put the ginger one a little bit closer to this area where I get more darkness, just there. And then I take custard and really go into the highlight points. Looking crazy. Cupid's bow. I'm using this little baby beauty blender. I'm gonna use this for the under eye area. And I'm just gonna blend it all out. 
This is the medium size beauty blender. They have a really baby one, which I don't really like because I have long nails. So by the time I hold the little one, it like my nails cover the whole surface of the other one. But this one is just slightly bigger and I feel like it's a lot more convenient for me. And I flipped it around to just blend out the edges. I'm also gonna take custard and highlight the center of the forehead because we wanna balance out the light so it's not just light under the eyes. So the whole point of this is to bring light to any areas of your face that come forward. Those areas will naturally catch more light. So by adding the lightness in all of the areas, it's gonna balance out the whole face. Take it down the nose. These contacts are kind of freaking me out a little bit. And of course the chin would also catch a little bit more light, so we'll put it right there. So go ahead and blend that all out. So I'm just gonna take the little beauty blender and dip it into my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And I'm just going to put that on the under eyes to set the concealer. I'm putting it on the sides of the nose as well because that's where we have shadows that make your nose look whiter. I know I look crazy right now. So you wanna let it set for about a minute. And then what you do is take a fluffy brush and dust it all away, all the excess powder. I'm gonna finish off the eyes. I'm gonna take this blue liner. This is the Drama Liquid Pencil in the shade, shade blue. We're gonna go blue, we're gonna go with blue. It's the Lancome Blue Liner. Sorry, I, it's hard for me to show you how to do this because I have to be really close, especially with contacts. I'm just gonna apply this in the waterline. So I'm going back into the black shadow with a detailed shader brush by Zoeva and I'm gonna go right under the blue with the black shadow. Really tap off the excess because we don't want any fallout. I'm gonna start building the black slowly. So to smoke out the black, we're gonna go back into MAC uninterrupted with a Morphe E36 brush. I think this is Katie's. Maybe it got mixed up in my brushes when we went to New York. But I do really like this brush, so it may just end up with uh, her comfy t-shirts. Never to be seen again. So I'm just gonna go ahead and smoke out the black so I don't look like I just have like a harsh black line under my eye. So now that we have it all smoked out, I'm taking my Mary Luminizer by The Balm Cosmetics, and I'm gonna use that as an inner corner highlight. This is my favorite product to use in the inner corner because it's like so bright, so pretty. Applying this here is really gonna open up your eyes, especially with this super heavy smoky eye. It's gonna bring a little light to your eyes so they're not so dark. While we're here, I'm just gonna use this to highlight the Cupid's bow since I already have it in my hand and the tip of my nose. So I'm quickly gonna just put a thin line on the lash line just to hide the false lash band that we're gonna apply over top. And for that, I'll be using the Illamasqua Precision Ink Liquid Liner. This liner has a really nice fine tip. It's gonna just get right into those lash areas that are kind of hard to reach. Such a thin line that you can barely even see it. It's just for the sole purpose to hide the lash band. So to finish off the eyes, you wanna add mascara and false lashes. I'm gonna be using this new mascara from Too Faced. It's the Better Than Sex Waterproof. Waterproof is key, especially for lower lashes. Not so much for me because my lower lashes are like itsy bitsy, but like for someone who has long lower lashes, if they touch the bottom, you always wanna use waterproof. And the packaging for this, the packaging is everything for this mascara. There's like water drops on it and you can actually feel all the water drops. It's like textured. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this top and bottom. And then I'm gonna apply House of Lashes Iconics. Duh. Duh. Next step, we're gonna finish off the face. So I'm gonna be using a liquid bronzer to kind of just warm up the whole face and give a nice glow. And this one is by Temp2. Ah! Oops, dropped it, no problem. This is in the shade Warm Glow. I'm just gonna take a few drops on the back of my hand and I'm just gonna start applying it where I would apply my contour. Also following that up to the hairline. 
and then going over that with Max Give Me Sun to set it all. I'm going over that with Heat Wave, and this is a baked bronzer by Be A Bombshell Cosmetics. So this one is a little bit like a highlighter. So we wanna take that, lightly dust it over everything. It's just gonna give the most subtle glow to the bronzer. Not highlighter, it's just a glow to the bronze. So for my favorite part of makeup, it's highlighting. I'm gonna just spritz, whoops, spritz a highlighting brush. And then I'm gonna go into my Laura Geller Gilded Honey, which I love, and apply it to the highest points. So for blush, I'm going in with Max Ambering Rose, and I'll be using this Marc Jacobs brush right here. Don't wanna go too heavy on the blush because I'm already so heavy everywhere else, you know what I'm saying? Like my whole face, there's a lot going on here, so light blush, we don't wanna look like Mimi. I'm gonna set everything with my MAC Fix Plus. I really need a new bottle because this is about to spit at me like a camel. Oh, it's good spritz. Okay, now that I'm putting it to the test on camera, it decides to act right. So onto the lips, I'll be using MAC Strip Down Lip Liner. So I really want to use a nude lipstick, and I just went to New York recently, and we got to make our own lipsticks, and I decided to make a nude color. I'm a little hesitant to use it because I feel like, you guys, it's not like for sale anywhere. We just made it for fun, but I think I'm gonna use it anyway. <laughs> Just because like it's so exciting. I just want to use it once. Um, we went to the Bite Beauty Lab. They have this lab in New York City where you get to go and custom make your own lipstick and anyone can go do this. So I thought it was really, really awesome. Like if there's a color you can think of, they can make it for you, which is really, really cool. So I made a matte nude. You even get to pick your scent. Oh, it smells so good. I picked citrus mango but they do have another nude that I was wearing the whole trip, which is this one, it's Honeycomb. It's kind of similar actually, just mine's a little bit lighter. So I quickly decided that I wanted to make my brows a little bit darker without using a pencil. So I'm gonna be using the Make Me Brow by Essence Cosmetics. And this is just an eyebrow gel. It's tinted, so it's gonna give me a little bit of coverage, but not too much to where it's like overpowering. So I'm just gonna define them a little bit. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of hairspray to my flyaways before you know I do my intro outro shots for you guys. This one is by Pantene Pro V. It's an alcohol-free hairspray. It's a level two, so it's just a light hold. Oh, it smells so good. In my Ipsy Glam Bag this month, I also got the NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick. This is in the shade Kitten Heels. I know the eyes are already super bold, and of course, naturally, I'm gonna do a nude lip, but to give you guys another lip option, I'm gonna do red, and this is gonna make the look a little bit more editorial and just like intense. I'm just gonna line my lips first with MAC Ruby Woo. So this lip option is a little bit more bold, and like I said, it's definitely not for everybody, but if you are a freelance makeup artist doing an editorial look, the bright red lip with the blue smoky eye for an editorial shoot, money. It would be really, really striking. All right, guys, so that is it for this tutorial. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to comment down below what you'd like to see next, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. And so Canole. Then taking my mini beauty blender. I'm blue. If I was green, I would die. Oh, if I was green, I would die.